Yo! Can you see me? Is this working? Alright, what's up? Hey, I had some people asking me about uh, my thoughts on the Leftovers finale. Um, and I I wanted to type, you know, I was like, uh, should I type this up? Should I, what should I do? And it just got to, I just thought it would be easier, record a video, say everything that I thought. I'm going to say it as succinctly as I can. If you've never seen The Leftovers, first of all, don't watch this video. Second, great show about, uh, you know, suddenly one day 2% of the world's population vanishes. And it's, it's this whole debate. Was it the rapture? Was it aliens? Was it, what was it, you know? And uh, anyway, the show did a great job of maintaining mystery. Mystery was kind of the catalyst of kind of every, you know, this mystery was kind of the catalyst of everything happening in the show. Um, you know, I'm going to make a lot of comparisons to Lost because it was written by the same dude, you know, so that's inevitable. You know, if George Lucas made a new sci-fi movie, we'd all be comparing it to Star Wars. Don't even front. But anyway, so I'm going to make a lot of comparisons, but, uh, my, my, anyway, so don't watch the rest of this if you haven't seen the show, duh. But anyway, my general thoughts on it, um, I thought I, I, I really liked the ending thought it was a great ending. I'm not going to say perfect, uh, nor would I say that about Lost. I'm someone who really likes the ending of Lost. I wouldn't say perfect about that either. Um, just like Lost, I thought the final moment was perfect. Just the, just the last moment, you know what I mean? In terms of, you know, sorry, spoilers for Lost. Lost had that brilliant moment where he, he Jack, after he, you know, he's fucking bleeding to death. He's going to die. And he crawls back to where you found him at the beginning of the show. And, you know, the show op began with the opening of the eye and it ends with him closing the eye. Oh, perfect. You can't be, even people who hate the ending of lost admit that last part is good. You know, you, you know, you know, it's true, but, um, same with leftovers. The last scene. Oh, that's exactly how a show. It should end in my opinion. I love, I love wrapping all these things up. I love wrapping shit up, but give me one last little bite of ambiguity. Oh, I love that. Just like the Sopranos had an ambiguous ending. You know, you have this last final thing where it's like, what really happened? You know, got one little hanging thread that I think it was this. No, I think it was that. And what I mean in the leftovers is of course, uh, spo uh you know, this video spoilers. I don't, I don't know why you're watching it if you don't want them. Uh, uh, Nora's story about going over, she found a machine or, you know, she got this machine that could send her to where the 2% of the world that vanished went to. So she could see her family again. She tells this gripping story about how she didn't back out of using the machine. Like, 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 like Kevin thought she had, she went through with it and she went to somewhere where 98% of the world disappeared for them. And she tells this gripping story about how she went over there and what a, what a strange world it was and what she saw and, and all this stuff. And it's funny. I've talked with a lot of people about the ending and I said, like, I love that it was ambiguous that you don't know if she actually went there or not. Was she just telling a story? Was she just lying? And it's funny how many people I, I said, I, I brought that up to actually went, Oh, was she? What? Like, like if I asked, do you think she was lying? They're like, what? Like that story was so compelling. You don't even, the point of it, I, I, the whole point of it is what do you believe? You know, it's not, it's meant to be ambiguous, but some people bought in, love that story so much that you, you know, you don't even, I kind of for a minute had the same thing. I didn't even think for it to like, that it couldn't be real. You know what I mean? But, but that really was kind of the core of the show was what are you willing to believe to keep going? What are you willing to believe for love? What are you willing to believe to continue connecting, to move on to whatever, you know, what are you willing to believe? And the theme of the show was kind of the stories that we tell to make sense of the completely fucked up, and insane and beautiful and scary and whatever things that happen to us, you know, the things you make up when, a, when a miracle happens to you, 
whether it's coincidental or maybe more or maybe not. What are, what are, what kind of, you know, it's almost like for us as people to make sense of these things, we need these giant, these narratives. You know what I mean? It, this is going to sound douchey, but even like on this channel, if you know, sometimes I'll film something, you know, in our warehouse that, that looks weird or like, why is that chair upside down? And you know, you'll see people in the comments that are like, I bet in the movie they're filming, uh, you know, someone be turns into a chair, you know, it's like you, you try to make things up to, to, to make sense of the stupid thing that you saw. That's a really terrible example. But, uh, when giant events happen in our lives, we do the same thing too. We make these stories to make sense of them. And sometimes that's the only way we can like mentally move on, you know? And I like that this show took on this, uh, this role of like, you know, it took on that kind of thing. Uh, it took on the concept of these stories we make to explain giant concept, you know, the, the, to make sense of things. And I like that it kind of showed, you know, some of it is probably bullshit and some of it may not be, you know, there's things in the show that, you know, the guy called himself God and said he woke up out of a cave and all that stuff that could all been crap or not, you know, um, you know, Kevin Garvey, was he immortal? Well, no, he had some heart condition. Oh, so, so maybe his heart was just stopping. He was, he was never really dying. But maybe he gave him that condition. Maybe he gave himself that condition when he went to this other world, this this afterlife, and operated on himself. Maybe maybe going to that place so many times injured his heart. He was immortal and is no longer. You know, a any of that could be true. You make up the story that you believe to make that true, you know? Or, or to make that, not to make it true, but to make it make sense to you. You know, does that make sense? Sorry if this doesn't make sense. I might be rambling, but uh, it's a bold concept, you know, um, and it and it goes as far. I mean, that could, you know, you could sum up things that are biblical and that, you know, th th that that concept could apply to things that are biblical, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, maybe everything you've ever heard about Jesus Christ was true. And you know, maybe a guy came back to life in the way that you heard about Jesus, but then maybe they wrote the rest of the Bible around that because it was the only thing that would make sense out of what they just saw. Or maybe it's all not real. You know, you know, it, it, it tackles a, a subject that has gone on throughout all of human history is uh, what are these narratives that we have and are, is there truth to them or not? But if you really want to connect and you really want to m move on, it, does that matter? If it's true or not, if you believe it and you say, I believe that, does it really matter if there's truth behind it? If it, if it's helping you continue, you know what I mean? Big concepts. I love it. What I am mixed on, what I am mixed on is, uh, you know, I had the same feeling watching the last season of the show as I did with the last season of lost. Now I love the last season of lost and I love this. I, I like this, this last season of leftovers a lot too. But as both seasons went on in, in the final season, you know, I remember watching Lost in its final season and getting really excited that, oh, this is it. They're wrapping everything up. But I felt like they were kind of still like adding stuff instead of subtracting. Does that make sense? Like, like you go into the last season of something and you feel like, OK, we're going to get one last badass episode with Sawyer in it. We're going to get one last, you know, in The Leftovers, we're going to get one badass final episode for uh, John um, you know, whatever. And instead it kind of felt like we're, we're, they were adding stuff, you know, in lost. I felt like when we, it was when we got to the episodes, they started showing the temple that had like the healing fountain in it and stuff. I was like, why are we, we should be wrapping stuff up. Why are we adding more? You know what I mean? Like why, what, what is this whole arc? Like we should be getting final episodes for all these characters. And I mean, lost came or, I mean, you did get great final moments with the characters at the very end. You know, the finale, if nothing else, wraps up the characters brilliantly. I mean, great. But, you know, I kind of wish there was one last awesome episode with Sawyer doing something incredible or badass or heroic. You know, it goes down with the, I don't know, the ship. I don't know why I said that. But um, 
in the leftovers, I, I kind of got that feeling again. We were, you know, you know, I remember watching the last episode with Matt, uh, where they're on the boat with the orgies and stuff. I'm not even saying that was a bad episode. And I guess character wise, it was a good conclusion for hit for his kind of arc. But I, I still was kind of like, can we just get to get all the characters together? Like, can we not, you know, I, I didn't feel like, I don't know. It felt like every episode kept adding something. Even the episode with Kevin Garvey senior going through the desert. It was an hour of the, of him walking through the desert and all this mumbo jumbo stuff. And I, and I kind of felt like, uh, we're spending, a, they spent a lot of time on building something that ultimately probably wasn't true. And again, that's the, that's the theme of the show. So it's not like you you shouldn't have a storyline on that. You know, it's like building, you know, they were building their own truths. That was what the show was all about. But um, I kind of felt like uh, I, I wanted to see more episodes that wrapped up, uh, you know, John and, and I forget his wife's name, but John was such a huge character in season two who went through this transformation and, and basically was a cameo this season. You didn't get any kind of final episode on him. You didn't get a final episode on the kids on, on Jill or, or her brother. What's the brother's name? God, I'm going blank right now, but you didn't get an episode on, on, on Kevin Garvey, uh, on the Garvey family kids, you know, uh, I guess I heard that if, if they had more episodes, they would have done that, but they didn't do it. So, you know, um, I kind of wanted I kind of wanted to see more things that kind of succinctly wrapped up these characters. Um, I liked the idea that throughout um, throughout well let me just on that note let me just say that was what kind of hurt the most to me is that while, while I love the finale, the fact that it was only on Kevin and Nora, they're the most important aspect of the show. I mean, no doubt, but it felt like such a narrow window. You know what I mean? Like, like the show should have ended on them. No doubt, no doubt. But the finale was an hour and 20 minutes and to, to not even give us anything of anybody else. It, it just felt like, oh man, you know, and again, maybe if they had wrapped up all those other characters more so through the rest of the season, I wouldn't have this longing feeling, but the fact that I didn't get to see anybody else or anything else or anybody else in the world, or, you know, we kind of heard that things basically moved on and it's no big deal. And I guess that's a, that's a good thing to have, uh, expressed, but I don't know. I just kind of, I liked that whole world. I liked everyone in it, not just Kevin and, and, and Nora. And I just, man, I don't know. It was kind of like, I can't just see everybody else like for a, for a one last thing. I don't know. I was kind of bummed out by that. Um, you know, that's just me. You know, say what you will about Lost Sending. Every fucking character you love is in that finale. I mean, again, if nothing else, they all the all the all the characters you love fucking hug you until the last credit. You know, like it. You know, so that's that's something that I liked there that I, I didn't get to have here, you know. Um, and also, too, I'll say this is kind of a weirder thing. But the message of the show being that, you know, things aren't necessarily. What am I trying to say? Things aren't necessarily, you know, these things that were considered supernatural or, or miraculous in the show may not be. It might just be our narrative, but does it matter? You know, they kind of made everything tight. Try it, it seems like that was the message of it at the end. You know, maybe Kevin Garvey wasn't ever immortal. Could have just been his heart condition. Or maybe the heart condition was a result of him being immortal and going too far with it or, or you know, whatever. Like I said a minute ago, uh, you know, maybe the, the everyone vanishing was not the rapture. It was just radiation. But we, but we tell this biblical story to describe it or, or even Nora's story. Um, maybe it's all, you know, maybe it's all made up, but doesn't matter. You know, it all plays into this narrative of maybe, you know, you could look at it as none of this was supernatural. 
or maybe all of it was. And that's up to you. But my issue with that is I think there, I feel like there are things that were in the show that don't fit into the this or that question. Kevin Garvey coming out of a grave, like a, 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 a earthquake bringing him out of this rise from this grave, you know, uh, as he rises from it, you know, uh, and you know, every time something happens to him in season two, that's, that's, you know, where it's near death, there's some big earthquake that shakes the earth. And, uh, you know, and one happens, one, one happens earlier and it, and it, and it wakes Mary out of her coma or whatever, you know, I wasn't expecting answers on any of that stuff. I never expected an answer on the departure. I never expected an answer on that. But to never touch on it again seems kind of weird that no one even discussed it. Like that it wasn't even brought up in the story again. I'm not looking for an answer. That's not that's not it. But to not even discuss it again was kind of kind of crazy to me, but but I just feel like uh what narrative can I come up with to describe those events other than something completely miraculous and biblical, you know, like I guess you can look at those as all coincidences or, you know, but I don't know, man, that like, those were pretty big events to, you know, I, I don't feel like th- that quite fits into the, uh, it might've been nothing description, you know, but again, the show is not about, you know, the show does have a message of like, you can't fucking explain these things. You do your best to, and maybe that's the best you have, you know? So I'm not, I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying like, I was kind of just surprised that that stuff never got brought up again. You know, that, that's all I'm saying. I wasn't looking for an answer. Um, but yeah, I just wish, uh, there had been more discussed about these other things happening in these other characters within it, you know? Um, I was just kind of, uh, the narrow, the narrow view of the finale. I was just kind of hoping to see it all rather than just them. But that's just, you know, uh, you know, I guess also part of me is kind of, I like that they had that. I like that they described that kind of, you know, that, that notion that, that things maybe just have miraculous, that, that thing just, ha- things just have, uh, I can't talk explanations, you know, these explanations that we make up to describe these things happening to us. And maybe it's all really nothing. Like maybe the world is just simple, but I, at the same time, you know, I think that's a good message, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. This season felt like it was building up some giant fucking event that was going to happen. And I know the point of it was that, you know, we always expect the world to end. And why do we do that? It's like, we want it, but it doesn't. It's a good message. It's a great message. But at the same time, as just a fan of TV, entertaining TV, I was kind of like, we did build up this whole season to some fucking crazy thing happening. And it didn't. I, you know, there is part of me that kind of wishes some fucking insane, surreal thing happened, but at the end, you know, but I know that's not in line with the show, but just for the sake of watching some fucked up weird show, I, I, that would have been cool. Uh, you know, just purely entertainment wise, but I think that, I think the message was still the best it could be. Uh, and, uh, I liked, I liked that. I did like that throughout the season, you saw that you could tell that feeding into that whole whole theme is that there were people around the world who thought they were Kevin Garvey. You know, everyone thinks that the the end of the world is going to happen to them and they're the epicenter of it. And that's why you saw the guy nuking that sub who thought he was going to kill a monster or whatever that was. And that's why you heard about the guy who thought he was God in Australia. I, I did think that was executed really well. Um, now, uh, anyway, but that, those are just like thoughts I have, you know, again, I'm not saying any of those are correct or they should have done this. They should have done that. I thought they ended it really good. It's, those are just things like as, as a viewer of, of something that I thought was entertaining would have been fun, but, um, the last thing I want to say though, is 
she was lying. Absolutely she was lying. There is no doubt in my mind she was lying because the whole season was about these narratives we make, but even, but down to the last episode, the last episode, she sees a nun probably banging some dude and she calls her out on it. And, and she said, well, you know, it makes an, uh, you know, uh, what, you know, the birds didn't fly back. People think that it flew around the, the, they flew around the world. Well, it makes a nice story. It makes a nice story. You know, it makes people happy. I mean, even at the beginning of the episode, Nora says, I don't lie. I don't. And you see kind of the, it's like you see her realize what she has to do by the end of the episode. Kevin made up this whole story to reunite with her. And I think she realizes she has to do that to make that reunion final. There's no way she went through with that machine. I don't think so. You even see her last thoughts as she gets into the machine about how she was getting fucking sick of her family. As uncomfortable as a thought that may be, she was. Her last thoughts going into that machine were not, oh, I, lo oh, I love my kids. It was how fed up she was. And don't forget that they disappeared at the height of her wanting them gone. Her tracing the step or, or, or following after her kids and her and her husband was not so much out of love as it was obsession. Obsession with running away from life problems, from life issues, from a solid relationship. Kevin Garvey had the same problem when he kept going over to wherever he went to. Was it the afterlife or was it a hallucination? Who knows? Although it is weird if it was a hallucination that he saw the bird that was killed that I don't even think he knew about uh, in season two flying around the lobby of the hotel he was in. So that makes me think he really was in the afterlife. But again, these are things we can't understand as people and we're not meant to. So we got to make up stories to make sense of them. And that's exactly what she did. She made it all up. There ain't no way she went through with that. Although the creators of the show said their plan was to show her going over there. So I guess at one point they had that thought. But that's not ultimately what aired. What aired was someone telling us exactly what she thought needed to be said to get her life back. That's what it was. I'm curious if you disagree. Tell me if you disagree. I hope any of this made sense because I'm just rambling. It's late at night and I'm just going. But yeah, I, uh, so yeah, I have a lot of thoughts on it. Um, are those, you know, again, these are just random thoughts. I thought overall it was great and they were wise to end it when they did, you know, it was just the perfect amount of episodes. Fantastic ending. I just, I just wish you would have seen a little more in this season in terms of finality for all these characters and, um, and yeah, that, that's all I was really looking for. Other stuff would have been fun in a popcorn sense, but, but th in terms of what I was really looking for, it was just kind of a little bit more wrap up for all these other characters and stuff. That's where I'm at with it. But, uh, but in terms of final, final, final thing, it's great. Anyway, that's all. Uh, I hope that made sense. All right. Uh, um, yeah, that's, uh, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. And next week I'm going to talk about the golden girls ending. Good night. <laughs>